Hi guys, my name is JP and this is Ansible Media, where we explore the technology behind photo and video. Today's video, we're gonna be doing something that it seems like every photographer on YouTube does, and that's a what's in my camera bag video. So stick around and let's get right into it. Where do we start? Welcome back to the channel, guys. You know, I don't know any other photographer that only has one bag. Um, you know, and believe it or not, I, I think that I've probably given away at least as many bags as that in the last few years, either given them away, sold them, but those are just the bags that I, I still use on a somewhat regular basis. There's two that I use all the time, and that's gonna be what we're gonna be looking at today is one of those, which is the backpack. Um, I'm probably gonna do a video for my shoulder bag as well. Uh, but for right now, we're gonna to touch on my current favorite camera backpack. This is the bag I use when I need to bring everything plus the kitchen sink. This is where I go to. This is the Low Pro uh, Pro Tactic BP, 450 AW Mark II, I think is the full name. If I'm wrong, I'll, I'll put it down in the, uh, uh, in the description. Um, so this bag is an amazing bag when it comes to the amount of stuff it can hold. So my primary thing that when I wa wanted to pick a new bag is I wanted it to be able to hold a gripped EOS R with an attached 70 to 200 2.8. Um, and I also wanted side camera access and rear camera access and the ability to hold a whole bunch of other things. And this fit the bill in every way. So let's get started. We're going to look at the uh, what comes on the outside. So this camera bag comes with it comes with some straps. It comes with a tripod holder that you can put anywhere. Uh, you've got this sort of Molly style webbing that allows you to choose where you want um, all of the attachment points to be. It comes with a water bottle holder, which as you can see is, you know, holding my 40 ounce uh, clean canteen with no issues. I could probably hold something a little bit bigger or if you've got an insulated uh, bottle, it'll hold that just fine. The other thing it does come with that I don't have on here right now is sort of a uh, media pouch. So you can hold a cell phone or um, some other things like that in. Um, and that also attaches to the outside. Now I usually use that to hold, uh, it holds four Sony style batteries for lights. Um, and I usually leave those in there, not usually attached to the outside of my bag. Let's go ahead and get some of this stuff out of here. So the tripod uh, that I've got in here right now, this is um, my three-legged thing, uh, Legend Series Mic is what they call it. Um, and this is a carbon fiber tripod. This is kind of my, uh, my go-to landscape tripod. Um, it's very lightweight for its size, um, and it can hold, it can attach both a regular ball head and a, a very light, uh, cinema style head. Um, and I have both of those and I'll show you, I'll show you that as well. So, like I said, you know, you have the, all these attachment points and these just hook into them so you can choose where you want them to go. And so you've got a, a ton of versatility in designing your layout of where you want things to attach. So in my case, I like to keep the water bottle on this side so that if I need to uh, sling the bag around, I have perfect access down into the, the side camera uh, pocket. So over here on this side, um, you can see I've got my flashlight attached. Now this is great for when I'm uh, hiking, uh, camping, anything like that. I've um, been doing a lot of uh, late night uh, astrophotography and you know nothing like being in the middle of a field when you can't see to uh, find the path to, to get out. Um, so this is a I think a thousand lumen uh, flashlight. It's got a rechargeable 18650 battery. Um, this is made by Nightcore. Um, I also keep on the side here a uh, this is by Night Eyes. This is an S Biner. So it's just a it's just a little carabiner clip that clips on both sides, and you can use it to hang things. I um, I'll use this if I want to hang 
my bag from my tripod uh, hook for additional stability. Or if I want to just keep my bag up off the ground, I can hang it on a tree branch um, if it's muddy out or anything like that. Um, you've got these two upper side pockets and I use these to keep anything that I need quick access to. Uh, so let's take a peek in there, see what I've got. So in this one, uh, so this is my favorite camera multi-tool. This is by Small Rig. Um, I don't remember the exact model number, but I'll put it in the description below. But this is, I think about $20, and it's probably the best $20 I've ever spent as far as camera accessories go. Um, it has all the different uh, hex keys and screwdrivers and things, including this uh, this one, which is perfect for those uh, those flat screws that are on the bottom of a tripod plate, so you don't have to carry around a washer or a quarter or anything like that. Um, so I keep that in there because I use this constantly. Um, I also keep in this side a business card holder um, in case you run into somebody and you want to uh, exchange cards. You don't have to go digging for it. And lastly, in this pocket, uh, this is a Think Tank SD card holder. And I keep all of my spare cards in here for quick access. Um, and like I said, I, I like having this on this side pocket because I can get to it very quickly. I don't have to go digging around inside the bag. I know exactly where they are. And there's this little hook in here that this clips onto perfectly. So I don't have to worry about it falling out and getting lost and losing all my cards. Um, so on the pocket over here on the other side, I've got other things that I need access to very quickly. Uh, so this is another Think Tank product. This is a uh, battery holder. This holds two Canon um, LP E6N batteries. And we've got a couple other batteries in here as well. And lastly, I do keep a, a very lightweight um, first aid kit, just some band-aids, some bug repellent, um, ibuprofen, that sort of thing, because uh, you never know when that's gonna come in handy. Um, so that about does it for the outside of this bag. Um, so let's go ahead and flip this over. So one of the things I absolutely love about this bag uh, like I've already mentioned, is you've got the side pockets and you have side pockets, uh, side access on both sides. So depending on how you have your internal layout, um, you can get to two separate bodies from either side. You can get to you know one body with a big lens attached from one side. Um, you've got a lot of options. It's, it's amazingly customizable. Um, and also you've got this whole big flap in the back that opens up and gives you full access to the interior. So let's go ahead and let me clear some of this stuff off and we'll we'll dig in here and see what I've got. All right, so how, let's have a look here. So you can see even on the shoulder straps, there's still attachment points everywhere. I've got my trusty hand sanitizer. I never leave home without it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and set that aside. Um, I've taken the waist belt off because I don't really like those, but it is an option that you can that you can put through here. Uh, if that's something that you want to use. So you take these big zipper pulls and you pull this back and you've got a ton of stuff in here. So we're gonna get into that stuff over here in a minute. But for right now, let's go through what's over in this side. Um, so this is just, you got a couple zippered pouches. I have my uh, Apple Pencil and my uh, Microsoft Pen for my laptop. Um, I keep some lens wipes, although I don't really, I don't use these for my camera. I use these mostly for my glasses. And in here, I keep my, my laptop. This is a Surface Book 2, but sometimes, you know, I, I don't always leave this in here. Don't always bring it with me. If I do need my laptop, if I'm shooting tethered, or if I need to transfer media or anything like that, I'll bring that with me. Uh, sometimes I just throw my iPad in here instead, but you know, it's, this holds a, a pretty large laptop. This is a 15 inch laptop and there's plenty of room in there for that. So let's get down to the good stuff. So like I said before, one of the, the key things for me is I wanted to be able to fit a gripped body with a 70 to 200 attached. I mean, in this, right now, actually I, in this, I've got two camera bodies 
and I think six lenses, plus a whole bunch of other stuff. So let's go ahead and take a look here. So first of all, you can see I've got these two lenses here, and I've got these labeled because from, from the top, they look very similar and I mix them up all the time. Uh, so this is the Canon RF 15 to 35 F2.8 ISL lens. This is the Canon RF 24 to 105 F4 L IS. And these days, these are probably my two most used lenses. Although my 70 to 200 is pretty heavily used as well. Uh, so camera body that I'm using, uh, this is the Canon EOS R. Absolutely love this camera. I had it since uh, shortly after it came out and it's just been absolutely reliable. Um, you can see I've got the, the battery grip on it and this big chunky lens on here. Um, the battery grip actually uh, balances this quite uh, quite a bit. Um, so it makes it a lot easier because the, the camera body itself is pretty small compared to like a 5D or anything like that. Um, so let's go ahead and set this aside. I keep my Peak Design strap in here. It's not something I use all the time, but when I need it, you've got it. So lenses, we've covered the 24 to 105, the 15 to 35. Um, I also keep some primes with me. Uh, so this is the RF 35 millimeter F1.8 IS macro lens. Um, also, actually, I should probably be upfront. I don't, I don't have a lens that isn't one of my favorite lenses. So. Uh, Again, this is one of my favorite lenses. I use it all the time. Um, oddly enough, I use this for Zoom calls and things like that every day. Um, underneath here, I've also got another RF Prime. This is the Nifty 50, the RF 50 uh, millimeter 1.8. Um, this was a Christmas gift for my wife. And again, one of my favorite lenses. Got your rocket duster. So one of the other things I keep in this bag with me at all times is a basic portable audio kit. Um, so this, uh, I've actually got a couple different low pro organizers. These did not come with the bag, um, but they were bought separately. So this is, uh, this is the low pro gear up medium box. Um, it's got a little pouch on the front. But inside of this, uh, this is this is my go everywhere audio kit. Uh, so I've got some cables. I've uh, got an audio splitter, um, a few different accessories down in here. Um, so this is my Rode VideoMic Pro Plus with a dead cat. I also keep in here a. This is the Rode. Smart Lav Plus. Uh, this is made for recording into a uh, smartphone. And I usually, oh, yep, I also have, um, have an adapter so that it can uh, plug into my iPhone. Um, so there's the uh, Rode has an app called the Rode Recorder, which you can use, or actually it's the Rode Reporter. Um, it lets you record into it. So if you need to, so if you need to lav yourself and you know, if, if it's too windy or too noisy or you know, the, the, you're too far away from the camera and you need to record to a lav, you can do that and just plug it in, put it in your, uh, put your phone in your pocket and start recording. Um, I also keep a, just a cheap pair of earbuds in here if I need to do uh, audio monitoring or if I need to play something back. Um, so this is my go everywhere audio kit that stays in this bag. You never know when that'll come in handy. So this is another low pro um, organizer. This is the, uh, the gear up pouch mini. And I keep a lot of miscellaneous things in here, a little, some tools and accessories and things that I use uh, somewhat frequently. Um, so you can see on the outside here, I keep my Leatherman Wave and all of the bits for it. Um, I can't tell you, I mean, I, I've had this for probably t more than 10 years and I use it all the time. It's an absolutely fantastic tool. Do just, it's, it's like having a full toolkit with you at all times. It's amazing. 
Um, on the other side of this, I've got a lens pen, a silver paint Sharpie, and a black Sharpie. The silver Sharpie is how I marked these. Also in here, I keep, uh, this is the Bluetooth remote for my camera. And this is a SSD, a USB-C SSD um, for when I need to trans, you know, have extra storage or transfer from my laptop. Um, and I also keep a few more of those lens wipes down here. So this is my little utility pouch. And that stays up in this, this big open area. Um, this area up here changes depending on what I'm doing. I don't always leave it this way. Uh, this is kind of my flex space. So uh, depending on what I'm doing that day um, determines what's going in here. I, I can fit my drone in here, my, my Mavic Air 2 and the controller fits in here quite nicely. Um, right now, uh, I, I keep a second body in here. Um, so, this is an anchor power bank. This is a 20,000 milliamp uh, power bank with power delivery. I'm able to, with this, I'm able to charge my camera, I'm able to charge my phone, um, basically anything in here that uses batteries, I can charge from this. Um, so this is a lifesaver on long days. This is a little pop-up white balance card. And it takes, it weighs next to nothing. It takes up no space. So having this in here, when you need to calibrate white balance, or if you need something to focus on, like if you're filming yourself and you need to, uh, you need to get focused, you can hang this up where you're going to be, focus on it, and then lock your focus in and stay, and keep it there. Um, so I keep this in here. Um, I've actually this has doubled as a very small landing pad for my drone once before as well. Um, and that just folds right up. And goes right back into its little pouch. Gaff tape, if you know, you know. Gotta have that. Um, so this would normally be my other camera body. It's empty right now because that's what I'm filming this video on. Uh, so normally, I, uh, my second body is a Canon uh, EOS RP. Uh, it's another full frame body. It's the little brother of my EOS R over here. The lens that stays on that is the Canon 24 to 105, not the L version. I use the F4 to F7.1 version on here, mostly because it's a little smaller, a little lighter. And as a backup camera, backup lens, um, that's probably the focal range that I use most often. So I felt like that was probably the most useful lens for me. So this is just a little padded neoprene case and that camera just goes right in here and hangs out in there. So this is, uh, this is the ball head. This is the Airhead Pro by three-legged thing. This is what I keep, uh, for my tripod there. Um, and usually I just store this separately so I don't have it bang, uh, banging around on things on the outside of the bag. Keeps the weight a little bit better balanced. And that just goes into its little sack. Um, so this whole pouch, is you can actually access this from the outside directly. So there's another set of zipper pulls and this whole, if I do this properly, uh, this whole front, this whole flap opens up from the front. So you can get very quick access into your bag from the top. Now, I also, there is a pouch here and I use this pouch to hold my filters. So in that pouch, again, because it's so easy and quick to access. So this is my, uh, my step up ring, um, 77 millimeter to 82 millimeter. And these are my uh, variable, ND filters. So I've got the the Peter the Polar Pro Peter McKinnon, the 82 millimeter size. I have the two to five stop and the six to nine stop. And these are just badass little filters. I love them. Um, so they live in this little front pouch where I can get to them quickly, but they're also uh, behind some hard padding. Keeps them nice and safe. So, like I said, there's an absolute huge amount of things that go into this bag. 
Um, I won't lie, this bag is very heavy when it's fully loaded. Uh, I haven't weighed it, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's probably 30 pounds at least. But I, I don't typically carry it like this for very long. Usually it's just when I need, you know, a, con a convenient way to transport all of this stuff someplace. Um, if I don't know what I'm getting into right off the bat. Um, but everything goes in here nice and easy. All of this stuff fits in here, usually with room to spare. I mean, you can see how quickly you can pack it up. Everything just fits right in. And you're ready to go. Now, I actually, I almost forgot the, uh, this bag does come with a rain cover um, that lives down here. I haven't actually had to use that yet. Uh, so I tend to forget that it's there sometimes. There you go, guys. That's what's in my camera bag, 2021 version. If you think I should do a follow-up to this video where I show you what's in my shoulder bag, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't done so already, please do all the things that help me out. You know, hit the like button, subscribe, and ring the bell. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, keep shooting.